it, it's been two, you know more than two weeks uh, since the election. This was an election that elected a man that President Biden has repeatedly uh, referred to as an existential threat. So why is it that the American people have not heard President Biden talk about this threat since the election? Because there was an election the American people spoke. Mm -hmm. The will of the American people were very clear. Right? And so the president is now in a situation where we have to deal with a peaceful transfer of power. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to respect the will of the American people. And that's what you have been seeing from this president, trying to lead by example to make sure that that happens. Uh, and that's what the American people deserve. That's what the president deserves. And that's what I think he was very clear about in Rose Garden when he delivered his remarks two days after uh, the election. And he said, he was very honest. He said, these, you know, and again, I'm, uh, I'm not quoting him exactly, but these were not the results that we had wanted, right? And that's just being honest. They weren't. Uh, but we are now in a position where we, he believes he has to lead by example and show what a peaceful transfer of power looks like. And so that's what you're seeing from this president. And, you know, to the points that you made, you know, I've been asked about um, existential threat. I've been asked about um, threat to our democracy. The president is always going to be honest with the American people. He feels like he is obligated. What he said still stands. But we are now in a different place. We are. The American people spoke. They deserve a peaceful transfer of power. That's what this president wants to do. Does he have a message for people on what they should do about this existential threat? I, assuming yeah. that yeah. he still believes Donald yeah. Trump is an existential his, threat. Look, his, his, his thoughts and what he said, his, his thinking on that has not changed. It has not. And I think he was very clear about what he believed should have been done or how we should move forward, how, you know, he was very clear during those moments that he spoke about it. Um, Right now, right now, he wants to lead by example and talk and show the American people uh, what it looks like to have an efficient, effective uh, transfer of power. And he believes that is what the American people deserve. Uh, and I'm just going to leave it there for now.